Namaskaram to all. Today is an important day for Mangalapuram Panchayat, which is the rural uh, aspect of Tiruvananthapuram district. I would, uh, to start with, like to say what this program is all about. This Vikas Bharat Sankalp Yatra. You all know that Honorable Prime Minister has announced that by 2047, India will be a developed country. I recognize the presence of senior former MLA, O. Rajagoparanji. He's just arrived. He was representing a constituency within Tiruvannandapuram, if I know right. So, I'll come back to talking about today's program. So, Vikasit Bharat Yatra is one step towards achieving what Honorable Prime Minister has announced, that India of 2047 should be a developed country. And if India has to be developed by 2047, the announcement which from 2014 we are very consciously following is Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Prayas, Sabka Vishwas. Sabka Vishwas first and Sabka Prayas after that. Meaning, we work together for everybody. We are with everybody. We are working for everybody's development. We are also working to get one another's trust. And finally, all of us are working together and we put our effort into it. So to make India develop by 2047, every one of our commitment and sankalpa to achieve that destination is required. Now this van which is going about, with all the details of what activities have happened from 2014 till today in order that all people of this country without any differentiation all people of this country get all basic amenities there is no this one gets that one doesn't get everyone who deserves to get something a particular scheme will get it in another scheme some other set so like that for each scheme whoever has got to get the benefit will get it and between 2014 and today in most programs in most areas near saturation has been achieved near saturation means in for example ujwala yojana if there are 100 families in mangalapuram panchayat if that mangalapuram panchayat 100 people who have to get ujwala Till, let us say, a couple of months ago, only 70 people, 80 people, 90 people have got it. The rest will get it at this program or soon after this, because the district collectors are also being told that they should follow up. So why should we need saturation? Why should we reach, whether it is Ujwala, Jandan Yojana, Mudra Yojana, Swanidhi Yojana, so for each category, there is a scheme through which help reaches them. If help reaches all of them, that family will be in a position to make a decision as to how they want to move forward. Children's education, there is health, PM, Jana Arugya Yojana. So everybody gets covered for five in a position to make a decision as to how they want to move forward. Children's education, there is health, PM, Jana Arugya Yojana. So everybody gets covered for 5 lakhs of rupees, every family, per year. So up to 5 lakhs, paperless, cashless treatment is available in all those hospitals which are empaneled. So this message is what is there in the van which moves around. 
it will cover 2.55 lakh panchayats gram panchayats between now pm launched it on 15th of uh, december i think from then it will go on till january 26th taking this message to every one of these 2.55 lakh panchayats and in this gram panchayats will get covered another set of vans will go covering 3800 sorry 3600 urban local bodies to each one of this place these vans are going only because people should know that these are available schemes and if you are eligible for it please register there and then if you are eligible and you didn't get till now you can en enroll yourself the district administration will reach you there are 17 schemes for the gram panchayat level i'll just read out the list so that you know which are the schemes which are coming and which are the schemes which are already executed the chief general manager state bank of india and also the anchor of the program said that we also have people who will speak about the benefits that they have received through one or the other scheme so that you have faith mangalapuram panchayat people should have faith that yes my neighbor has got ujjwala my somebody else has got ayushman bharat and so on so there are people who are going to also speak about the benefits that they have received now in the rural areas inclusive of mangalapuram panchayat there are 17 schemes all of which are for the people who will be eligible to get it and some of whom have already got it ayushman bharat i told you about it 5 lakhs coverage for the family within a year and it can be paperless it can be cashless you don't need to go pay some advance you don't need to prove yourself if you have that card you go show the card and get yourself admitted pm garib kalyan anna yojana whereby during covid over and above the ration that you got from the ration uh, store pds distribution you had 5 kgs of wheat or rice and 1 kg of dal given free that was extended after covid post covid it has been extended now from 24 another 5 years from now to another 5 years free ration is being given to all the pds card holders in this let me make it very clear earlier for 1 kg of rice you will go with your pds card and pay 3 rupees per kg rice you are eligible to get 5 kg per person in the family now you don't need to pay even the 3 rupees per kg you get it free again i'm standing in kerala so i'm saying this the state governments used to pay logistics cost transport cost lifting the grains from fci godown cost state governments also don't need to pay even one paisa for this priyam garib kalyan anna yojana no transport cost no lifting cost no logistics cost on the state government also so this free rice free wheat will have to reach you you at to i mean reach you with no cost at all for you or for the state government it's extended for 5 years next national rural livelihood mission through which some kind of a skilling is provided and jobs are made available through the local area skill sets being determining what you can get pm avas yojana gramin everybody who is eligible to get a house will get the house the amount will be sent to you sometimes as manrega workers will also join to build the house but avas yojana is available ujwala i told you about that cooking gas cylinder connection will be given 
the newly announced scheme pm vishwakarma also comes into this where people who have traditionally worked with their hands and some kind of tools will now get assistance first 1 lakh and then some uh, it will go up to 2 and so on lakhs per year i mean for the first year you get 1 lakh after 15 days of training there is a panchayat level committee district level committee and a state level committee through whom the selection will be made and they will all get the vishwakarma yojana 15 day training or uh, 15000 rupees worth of kit so that the tools are given to them and after that market linkage will be made available through experts i'm sure the enrollment is happening uh, even in mangalapuram kisan credit card poshan abhiyan jal jeevan mission survey of villages using uh, drones to get the map of land that you own so that once the map is available with you you can go and seek assistance from banks or any other institution if you don't want the loans at least you know the property and its relevant document is in your hand nobody can cheat you or take your property away swamitva that is the scheme given the name swamitva because you are the swami of your land or your property or your house jandan yojana jeevan jyoti bima yojana which is an insurance yojana suraksha bima yojana another insurance based scheme atal pension yojana for senior citizens or for young ones who want to pay very minimum amount little by little every year so that by 60th year you start getting a pension so you don't need to worry about your elderly senior citizen status when you become one the government has made small premium amounts with which you can get pension pm pranam which is the pm program for restoration awareness nourishment and amelioration of mother earth so that we have better soil condition in the villages nano fertilizer so that we don't put too much fertilizer if you put it in the land the ground water also gets poisoned whereas when you use nano fertilizer it gets sprayed in the on the leaves of the plant through drone and only that much that the plant requires it will use the rest of it will be uh, not required at all so the consumption of the fertilizer will also come down fertilizer will not remain in the soil poisoning our drinking water and something which is very important here is honorable priyam shri narendra modi ji announced that he will make lakpati didis in the villages meaning women in the villages will become lakshadipatis now how they will be given training to use drones women from fpos will be selected they will be or shg groups will be selected they will be given training to use the drones and with the drones they will literally be also there will be bank assistance through which loans will be supplied to them with 80% central government's uh, participation and once the drone reach your hand you in the village will be the person for whom the farmers would say come and spray this fertilizer for me and you will make a living out of it and you yourself will be the technology master of your village the woman will be the drone didi namo drone didi of the village so such schemes are being brought i would like to take this opportunity i hope there is no time restriction i want to tell you about what tiruvananthapuram district has got in many of these schemes jal jeevan mission is for tap connection at home over 10 crore rural households have been covered all over india in that tiruvananthapuram district alone the rural households have 2.6 lakh rural households in the rural area of tiruvananthapuram have got the jal jeevan mission housing for all modi ki guarantee hai pm awas yojana 
in that in the gramin kshetra pm avas gramin all over india 2.94 crore households have got the sanction for their own houses kerala alone has got 35169 houses and of that 42% has gone for sc and st people in kerala tiruvananthapuram alone has got 5408 houses sanctioned of which 41% has gone for scs and sts these have gone already 24000 houses both gramin and urban pm avas for tiruvananthapuram is sanctioned it will get built up now swachhata ki guarantee modi ki guarantee swachhata mein swachhata swachh bharat abhiyan 11 crore households all india got toilets constructed in their houses kerala alone got 2.47 lakh households where toilets have been constructed tiruvananthapuram 20852 household toilets have been constructed already so that's the number for tiruvananthapuram swasth ki guarantee modi ki ayushman bharat 28 crore beneficiaries all india 75 lakh beneficiaries only in kerala 8.9 lakh beneficiaries only in tiruvananthapuram district you also know jan aushadhi kendras are a very important way of getting good quality but affordable medicines for the poor for the middle class for all kinds of sickness blood pressure diabetes seasonal illness um malaria dengue uh, flu and everything else you know that the government of india announced that we'll have 10000 kendras we already have 10000 kendras jan ayush uh, aushadhi kendra all over the country 10000 now we've announced another 25000 more of that 987 kendras are in kerala 76 kendras only in tiruvananthapuram districts now what does this mean on an average in the country through the jan aushadhi kendra for the number of people who have taken medicine if they had taken it outside i'll compare roughly in total amounts they meaning all of us people who have used jan aushadhi kendra for our medicines have saved 23000 crores because a medicine which is available for 100 rupees now is available for 30 32 in some cases even 15 rupees that's the difference between a branded medicine taken outside from any pharmacy to what you take in a jan aushadhi kendra which is a generic drug but qualitatively equally good or even better i am also happy to say i am glad the media is here across india if you compare the state of kerala has the highest with respect to hospital hospitalization rate per lakh beneficiaries that is a very significant data and therefore i would think it is important for us to support ourselves by approaching jan aushadhi kendra and taking the medicines from there i'll move to talking about lpg cylinder ki guarantee modi ki guarantee wala gaadi rath which is coming over to the panchayats and urban centers lpg cylinder ki guarantee all india 9.6 crore people have got ujwala cylinders Kerala alone has got 3.41 lakh cylinders and in Tiruvananthapuram alone 63500 cylinders have been given meaning connections have been given under the Ujjwala schemes I mean you are all part of that the Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana which is extended for 5 years now totally free ration 
through the PDS shops. It is extended for five years till 2029. In that, all over the country, 81.35 crore beneficiaries are there. Kerala alone has got 1.54 crore beneficiaries. PM, Garib Kalyan, Anna Yojana. Tiruvananthapuram alone has got 16.78 lakh beneficiaries. Bank account ki guarantee. Jandan accounts. All over the country, 51 crore Jandan accounts have been opened since 2014. Kerala alone has 61 lakh Jandan accounts. And Tiruvananthapuram alone has 8.6 lakh Jandan accounts. Now it's all right, you get your house, you have your toilet, you're drinking water through pipe, cooking gas cylinder, all this has come. But I want to do my own business. I have a small shop. Can I get some loan? And if I go and ask for a loan, the bank asks for a collateral. Give me your gold, give me some fixed deposit, or give me a piece of land. No. PM Modi said, I am the guarantee, give the poor people the loan so that they can run their own business. There are at least three schemes which I can name. PM Mudra, PM Swanidhi, PM Stand Up India Loan. I'll give you the data for that. PM Mudra, 25 lakh crores of rupees has been distributed to 44 crore people all over India. Kerala, 91,200 crore rupees has been distributed under PM Mudra to 1.4 crore beneficiaries. Tiruvananthapuram, approximately 11,500 crore has been distributed to 16.3 lakh beneficiaries. Just Tiruvananthapuram. Stand up loan. All over the country, 22,000 crores have been distributed to 2 lakh entrepreneurs. Kerala alone, 640 crore distributed to 7,600 entrepreneurs. And in Tiruvananthapuram alone, 80 crores has been distributed to 893 entrepreneurs. I'm giving you complete data so that you believe that this is the kind of work which is reaching the ground and there is no difference. Kerala is not put to any kind of special trouble. You're getting all that is being sent to other states as well. PM Swanidhi. In none of these three categories, you have to give a collateral. PM stands guarantee, you get the money at a concessional rate in some of the schemes. Uh, PM Swanidhi, that is for the street vendors and small traders who have small shops. They sell flowers, fruits, vegetables, some knickknacks, whatever. Approximately 57 lakh people, street vendors, have got loans from uh, all, uh, in all over the country, of which 44% are women, 43% are OBC, 22% are SC and ST. In Kerala, 70,000 street vendors have got PM Swanidhi. 58% are women, 60% are OBC, and 16% are SCs and STs. We don't have a separate data for Tiruvananthapuram, so I've given you only all uh, Kerala figures. PM Kisan ki guarantee, Kisan Samman Nidhi, all over the country, 8 crore people, farmers, have got this. Kerala, 23 lakh, slightly over 23 lakh farmers have got annually 6,000 rupees, which Honorable PM gives in the name of PM Kisan Samman Nidhi. Tiruvananthapuram alone has 3.4 lakh farmers who have got 6,000 each year from Honorable Prime Minister as uh, uh, PM Samman Nidhi. The last three that I'll give you data on, 
इस पीएम जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना तिरुवनंतपुरम गेट्स 2.76 लाख एनरोलमेंट्स केरला हैज 20 लाख एनरोलमेंट्स ऑल ओवर द कंट्री इट्स 18.63 करोड़ सुरक्षा बीमा 10 लाख एनरोलमेंट्स इन तिरुवनंतपुरम 88 लाख इन एंटायर केरला 41 करोड़ ऑल ओवर द कंट्री अटल पेंशन योजना 1.6 लाख सब्सक्राइबर्स ओनली इन तिरुवनंतपुरम 11 लाख सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल ओवर केरला एंड नियरली 6 करोड़ ऑल ओवर द कंट्री सो आई आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग श्योर दैट द डेटा ऑन केरला रीचेस ऑल ऑफ अस एंड वी नो दैट द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉट डिफरेंशिएटेड इन एनी वे फॉर केरला सिटीजेंस द प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच रीच ऑल अदर्स आल्सो रीच हियर there are a few more data which I'd like to share, but I won't take more of your time. I want to highlight the fact that this Vikasit Bharat Yatra is to benefit all Indians. All those Indians who are really in need of concrete help and not just some kind of, you know, I throw money at you, you do what you want. And after that, whatever government runs, runs, whether corrupt government or good government. Whereas Modi ji's record is that he is always run with transparency. In the last nearly 10 years, you would not have heard of one whisper of corruption. People's money being taken by the Prime Minister or the can, uh, Cabinet. And that was his record even in Gujarat as Chief Minister. We want in this country a government which cares for people, sabka saath, sabka vikas. I'm giving you all the data before you. Financially, in spite of COVID, in spite of petrol prices going up, in spite of global wars, Indian economy is being managed very well under Prime Minister Modi's leadership. And that is why our economy is doing well. And everything that is due for the states are being given in time to the states. Whatever the state may say, I will prove it with data. In fact, I take this opportunity to say, Prime Minister always says, make sure every state gets their due in time. We pay even some monthly dues in advance itself. What is due in January, I pay in December itself. So states stand to benefit because of the transparent governance. If governance is not transparent, it gets criticized by CAG. And after that, if some states, if some steps are taken to bring them online, to shout saying, oh, federal structure is getting affected, just speaks poorly of the state. We have nothing to worry. We have done everything by duty to Kerala, to as much as any other state. I want to put this in record. And therefore, this was this Vikasit Bharat Yatra, Sankalp Yatra, where all of us will have to take the Sankalp. Sankalpam that we have to take so that we'll contribute. We'll become party to building India to be a developed country by 2047. That is behind this Vikasit Bharat Sankalp Yatra. I don't want to take more of your time. Thank you for coming here and I'm sure we are going to hear a lot of these beneficiaries say, yes, I have also got Jandan Yojana. I have also received the free cylinder. I have also got Aishman Bharat and therefore my life, I have got some money in hand to take care of my family. Aishman Bharat is one such a thing for health insurance. But with that, the kind of medicines which are now reaching, expensive medicines which are reaching at one third the cost through Jan Aushadi Kendras are truly money in the hands of the people. We should understand this and make sure that all of us play our role in building a strong, developed India. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Your insights and guidance are invaluable as we navigate through challenges and chart a course towards a brighter future of our country. Your words carry value and meaning resonating.